guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a first impressions video of the new Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour with Comfort Serum Foundation. This is new to the US, but it is not new to the UK or anywhere else that already has had this. I know um, Kat Horrocks, who is also a YouTuber on YouTube and a viewer and friend of mine she this is one of her favorite foundations and she's had it for some time but I just saw the display in our drugstores in the US so I picked this up in my latest new year new makeup haul if you haven't seen that video yet check it out so I'm gonna get into it with all my first impressions you see it applied you see it with my makeup I do a check-in on my first impressions and then at the end of the day I let you guys know how long I've been wearing it what it looks like with a close-up and and my final thoughts on whether or not I think it is a good foundation. So I am going to apply my primer. It is what is left of my Hourglass Veil Primer. It's the one I love using, clearly because I had to depot it with what scrape what was left out. Apply this on my face and then apply this with a beauty blender, but I will speed it all up. up after applying the foundation I just want to let you guys know the foundation is kind of goopy it took a little effort to kind of pu push it out of the bottle or dump it out of the bottle so it is very um, it's not very liquidy it is definitely more of a gel creamy consistency which is good sometimes if you're looking for that and the coverage is pretty good it's not a full coverage I mean I think I could build it up to a full coverage and if I used a brush I definitely could get a full coverage it is very wet I'm going to have to set it with a powder for sure like almost immediately I feel like but you can see it really covered a lot of my redness my discoloration any um, discoloration in my skin and it also covered up this minor blemish just a little bit I do have to cover it with concealer still or I'm going to actually probably try powdering it and then applying a little more foundation and then powdering it but I do like it we'll just see if it is a 25 hour wear I'm not gonna wear it for 25 hours but we'll see how long it wears and how it looks with the rest of my makeup in just a little bit hey guys so I have applied the rest of my makeup and I have to say this foundation is a full coverage foundation at first I thought it was more of a medium to full coverage but it is definitely a full coverage drugstore foundation it has a pretty natural finish it's not too matte it's not too luminous it's a very natural finish and I have used it with my Rimmel stay matte powder to uh, set everything because you really will need to set it and I think it looks pretty nice the color is a little dark for me in the winter time I had to pull it pretty low onto my neck because um, my shoulder is a little bit darker but it, it's just a little darker than I'm used to and the shade I am wearing is 203 true beige so I could go a little bit lighter I don't know if they have a light beige or something like that but I am I'm pretty much digging this foundation for a day that I want full coverage. It's SPF 20. So it has SPF 20 and it's titanium dioxide, which is the good kind of SPF I recommend. It is a physical SPF. So you can see it's a very smooth finish. It looks good. My pores look good. My under eyes look good with the concealer. Everything looks pretty good. It is now 4.18 in the afternoon and my foundation's oxidized just a little bit um, I think the color is definitely off so true beige is not my shade but you know I'm still wearing it so far it is a pretty good coverage it's definitely a full coverage foundation and I feel like it looks good it's not like shiny or anything like that like it's wearing well it's just the color was too dark for me to begin with and then it oxidized just ever so much on my skin so it looks really really off color wise up close it is still covering the foundation is still on my skin I need to figure out my lighting at night but that does not look good but that's not the foundation that looks like 
my bronzer or my blush is melting. Um, I am a little shiny on the nose, but that's not bad at all. So that's what it looks like at night. It is now 11 in the evening and I've had the foundation on for about 11 and a half hours. The foundation is actually pretty good. It's pretty long lasting. It is a full coverage foundation towards the end of the night. I'm not sure if it's because the shade was already a little bit darker than what I should be wearing and it oxidized a little bit, but towards the end of the night it definitely looks like I'm wearing foundation. It's not a bad look necessarily, it's just not something I personally like. However, if you are looking for a full coverage foundation and you like to have a good coverage, this is a really good drugstore option. I like it a little bit better than the Revlon Colorstay because the Revlon Colorstay has a extremely harsh scent fragrance. It smells like paint in my opinion and also with the Revlon Colorstay it's a little stickier. The formulation is stickier. I did just go and return the True Beige for the 200 Soft Beige. So I went down or I went lighter two shades and I think this will be a much better shade match for me personally but I do really like it and I've decided to keep the foundation because I think it's a really good option for full coverage days, for full coverage makeup tutorials and things like that. It does have SPF 20 so there is a slight flashback if you are going to use any photography. I don't recommend using this for um, special occasions, events where you're going to be video, video, videographed. What am I saying? If you're going to be photographed or anything like that, I always recommend not using SPF at all in any of your makeup because you don't want to risk it. It really depends on the camera and the kind of flash they're using, but you just don't want to risk it. You never want to risk it if it's a special occasion. But for an everyday full coverage foundation, this is a great drugstore option. It's quite affordable. I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions video. I do tons of these, so make sure you're subscribed if you haven't subscribed already. I really appreciate each and every one of my subscribers and viewers. Don't forget to show some love and give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and me personally and it means the world to me when I see that you guys like these videos. Also follow me on all of my social media, leave me a comment below. I love hearing from you guys and I try to get back to every single one of you. Thank you guys so much. Bye! What it looks like and I have some of that sticky layout kind of thing that you line drawers and cabinets with to kind of keep things from sliding around too much. And in here are some loose eyeshadows, pigments from Makeup Geek, 